Greetings and thank you for giving us the privilege of coming your way. We trust that this week was a wonderful week that you had with the Lord as you journeyed with Him through each day. We bring uh, this week's meditation series to a close where we've been talking about what time is it and emphasizing the fact that we need to recognize God's timings for our lives and walk aligned to that. In closing of this week, I want to bring our attention to Acts chapter 1. This is after the resurrection of Jesus. He has shown himself alive for a period of 40 days to his disciples. And he's about to be ascended into heaven. And he's giving his final instructions to his disciples. He tells them, I want you to go and wait in Jerusalem and you'll be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And the disciples turn around to Jesus and said, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And the Lord Jesus responds to his apostles and disciples and says, it is not for you to know the times and seasons which the Father has put in his own hand, in his hand, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you go be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. There's very interesting, there's, there are very interesting truths that you, can, uh, you and I can draw from this conversation that Jesus had. You see, the apostles, the disciples had an expectation of something that had to be done in this time. They wanted the kingdom back in the control of Israel. The kingdom obviously at that time was their land, their people that was under the control of the Romans. And they wanted that to be handed back to them. So they said, are you going to make that change? Are you going to overthrow the Romans and put us back in control? That's their expectation. But he said, that's not for now. The Father has that in his time. But what I want you to do is to go be my witnesses. I want to just use that to bring our attention to this truth. There are times when you and I have certain expectations of God or what we want Him to do right now. But there are things that God has put in His hands which He has appointed for your life and mine. And what He wants us to do is to be busy with what He has given to us right now. The assignment He has given to us right now. And for His disciples, He said, I want you to go be my witnesses about what your expectation, the Father will take care of it in His time. So also in our lives, let's be occupied with what God has put in our hands right now, rather than being preoccupied with some other thing that God will bring in a future time and a future season for us. Be faithful with what God has put in your hands right now, in this time and in this season that He's appointed for your life. Your expectations will be fulfilled in the time God has appointed for them to be fulfilled. He is a good God and He's a faithful God and He will do it. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you help us understand the times and seasons and help us to be faithful in each season, in each time that you appointed for our lives even as we, by faith and expectation, look for greater things up ahead. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.